Hi everyone and welcome back to Mystic Moons Astrology. My name is Ashley and it's been a few months since I've posted on the page so I thought I'd come to you today to speak with you about the full moon in Aries that we have coming in October the 9th and Aries is an energy in the zodiac wheel that is all about the self and it really focuses in on where we can be more progressive, more bold, and a little bit more of a leader in our life. Full moons always have a culmination. Um, it is a ending of some sort so that we can have a new beginning. And so when we have something as powerful as a fiery Aries full moon, we are really wanting to do some deep inner reflection and um, like I said, be bold, energetic, and kind of more daring with our future pursuits. And this is all about being strong physically and emotionally and getting in alignment with that energy. It's a lot about self-understanding, taking the time out to process what you are going through as an individual and it also will ask you what motivates you you know we all often have a lot on our plate at any given day and so when we can wake up and we can have affirmations or mantras these things will help us throughout the day with having a charge a full charge to be able to get this crap done and so it's really important right now for us to really focus on ourselves, our own self-driven, ambitious pursuits, because Aries is totally in alignment with that. And it definitely is asking us to take some leaps that can boost us to success. Aries is not an energy everyone is comfortable with. And the reason why is because a lot of a lot of people need other people to validate or to make sure that they're on the right path or, um, you know, organizations and things of that nature, patriarchal stuff, making sure that we're doing what we need to do. But really, we all have our own individual paths. And when we're able to embody that, adhere to that, and stand confident in it, this is what we're talking about with the Aries full moon. And this is not a energy that wants to hesitate. It really goes after what it wants boldly, assertively, and driven. So this is a leader energy that takes charge. So it's really asking us at this time to take charge about um, who we are what we want to do, what our path is, um, how we also assert ourselves on that path because it really has a lot to do with us being fully charged to be able to go after what we want. So the sun is actually sitting next to Venus in Libra and the sun will be across obviously from this full moon. We are in Libra season. Libra is ruled by Venus. This has to do with money and finances, and this has to do with um, the finery of life, um, the enjoyment. And so with it, sun sitting there with Venus, it's really amplifying it and making it, um, you know, we're looking at that more closely as far as our um, Libra, seventh house relationships and um, Venus you know, that, that love, that nurturing, and that beauty. So, this Aries full moon will be with Jupiter. Jupiter's in the sky in Aries, and this has a lot to do with having luck in emotional um, connections, but also heartfelt connections. So, this is a really open energy that really wants us to open up to what we want. And, um, it's allowing us to express that in a big way because Jupiter's the biggest planet in our solar system. So it really embodies sitting there with moon 
uh, big emotional um, things. And so we could be also wrestling with some big stuff emotionally right now. And also um, with it having to do with Aries, emotional stuff that has to do with just us personally, how we're taking things in, how we're perceiving things, how we're receiving things, and um, also kind of how our magnetism and our force is also attracting in. So because Aries is that one, it's you, it has to do all about you. So. Focusing in on this full moon in Aries with what you want, how you want to go for it, um, that will all be wonderful. This is not a um, moon that focuses in on anybody else but your own individualistic path. So Uranus has been with the North Node, aka Rahu, in Taurus. And it's been uh, meeting and applying and then uh, separating and then applying again. And this all has a lot to do with, um, you know, changes in our futuristic plans and especially with Taurus like things, money, uh, monetary gains. And so we could be going over some of this stuff um, as we continue on, but we could have be having some shifts with Uranus there with Rahu. Um, and it could be sh um, shifting us in a powerful direction towards new financial opportunities, goals, and achievements, and success. Because Aries Full Moon, we're here to get stuff done. So, I hope that you guys have enjoyed this little video. I hope you, that you enjoy the beautiful Aries Full Moon. And if you like this video, feel free to like it. If you have any comments, feel free to comment them. And if you haven't subscribed already, you need to subscribe to the page. I'm looking forward to posting more posts and also um, getting the South Node wrapped up and done. So, because I've went through a lot of changes in my life here lately. And so I am going to get to a place where I can finally have a uh, studio, astrology studio, and I can come to you and speak with you um, progressively about these new and full moons. And then also readings and um, AK, uh, Rahu and then North Node, uh, North Node and uh, K2, aka Rahu and K2 and South Node and North Node. So anyway, long story short, I hope you're all doing well on the channel. Take care and I will speak with you soon. Happy Aries full moon.